So, Captain Stark can now take the. Uh... Oh, Stark has been cap. What? What? How'd that happen? When? Why? Fuck. Shit. <laughs> okay. I guess it's down to you, PC, right? Oh, he's kind of hurt by that trip in the uh, thing, but I guess it's up to him to rescue poor Stark. And I guess one way to do that is to kill the enemy in the vicinity. So, ah, uh, there we go. Now I've got surface to air missiles, so if I can just get it in my sights, I can take it down. There it is. Come on. Now, believe it or not, I just launched a missile. And I don't know if I even hit the enemy. Come on, come on, right, you gotta reveal, re redeem yourself. You bastard. Stop smiling and start killing. Ugh. Going right uphill there. Okay. Did I get him? I might have done because I can't see him anymore. And that's good. Now, does that mean that, uh. Does that mean that Stark is now rescued? Let's get back to the settlement and find out. So yeah, like I said, I had to break with convention a bit with this one. I usually like to go into new games uh, with a first impression. Uh, but it was really impossible with this. My first impression was basically me going, Oh, I don't understand this. Uh, so, although, there's the, there's the enemy plane. Oh, shit. Come on. Uh, my first impression was me just saying, Arm a lot. So, I had to really figure out what I was doing first. And... <laughs> Still haven't quite done that. Oh no! Oh god! I think I just, I think I just uh, overturned and s just crashed the vehicle. Oh no! Wright has been badly hurt and has been rescued. He's run out of time and can do no more until the next situation report. All right. So, what's happened? He's been captured too. So we've both been. Oh god, look how injured he is. It's all red and horrible. Okay. What just synchronized? Your team has two hours. Okay, so he's not... He, he was rescued. By who? I don't know. Right, has been captured now. Shit. Is Stark still captured? Stark has been captured, so what the hell can I do? I've, I'm screwed. So, I don't think I can make much more progress. This game is confusing and difficult. Um, I do like it, but I also kind of don't because it's kind of difficult and I'm not... Look, their morale is abysmal. I'm not surprised. They're in prison. But at least these injuries are healing. Okay, well, I'm going to try advancing time a bit more and seeing if, anything, if we get rescued, and if not, then I'll start again. Okay. Sorry. Surrender. So you want to surrender? Yes, yes, Mr. Baldy. Why is the bad guys always bald, like Kane in uh, Command and Conquer? You should have known it was useless to resist me. I, General Masters, am the greatest warlord. You just shot me before you finished talking. <laughs> you have lost the battle, and now you will lose your lives. Yeah, look at him twitching like a madman. Okay, we're dead, mate. You don't have to keep shooting the corpse. Although I've been known to do that in games. <laughs> yeah, keep shooting. <laughs> okay. I, hey! I think you got him. Okay, I'm going to try that one more time. And what I'm going to do is turn off mortars and bombers. Now, call me a pussy. But, you know, let's actually try to do play this game in a way that I can actually make progress. So, let's check out the map. And I'm here. And there's nobody around anywhere close. So, let's see what the situation is. Now, this enemy indicator means there are obviously no bombers, because I deselected them, but there appear to be nothing in this vicinity. I'm just out in the middle of nowhere. So, what's nearby? A synthesis plant, church, settlement with a garage. That's good. Now, where's the closest person? The closest person is way over there at that settlement. So what I'll do is I'll go to this settlement, get a vehicle, and drive over there. Sounds good. But first, 
I think I should try to deal with these enemies. Okay. No indicator to tell me where they are yet. Ah, there we go. It's just over this hill. Here he is. No. Yes, I got him. Any more? Well, ah, there's one. Come on. Force is strong with this one. Nah, not strong enough though. Is that the last one? Any more? Is that tree eyeing me? You want some tree? Oh no, there's another one. Behind this little hill here. This pointy little polygony hill. Oh. He stopped. Well, you want some or not? Apparently he doesn't. Let's turn off his engine and went to sleep. Alright, well. Guess time to make a move on. It is a lot less impossible uh, with uh, without the mortars and the bombers. Of course, Im impossibility is not a thing of degrees. Alright. Let's get moving. And I, there is an enemy right ahead of me, so let's try to throw a grenade at its face. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I got it. Great kid, don't get cocky. Oh no, I think there's another one according to that indicator on the left. I don't know when they're going to stop coming. Oh, must be right behind me. Oh. No! Oh! Okay, let's see how injured I am. Lost an arm. Well, I didn't lose an arm, it's just hurting. Well, in any event, let's try to snipe. Super awesome death ray rifle. Come on, turn, turn, turn the other way. God, it's right over this hill. As soon as it appears, I've got to open fire and destroy it. Come on. Where are you? Apparently, he's not dexterous enough to ski while he's sniping. Which makes sense actually. We're just trying to fire a gun right here at skis. And he stopped. And he started. It's <laughs> getting none of them are snipers or I'd be really screwed. Is that him in the distance? I can't tell. It's got so wobbly since I hurt my arm. Poor Captain Stark. But no friends. It takes a the end of the world for people to become his friend. Alright, this is futile. He can throw grenades while he's on skis though, so let's try that. You know, they they uh Chose an interesting way to deal with the necessity of having a monochrome, sort of, not monochrome, but low colour environment that has very little detail apart from a few trees, uh, you know, by making it uh, the middle of winter. It, sort of an ice age, mid ice age rather than mid winter. Um, so, you know, it's an example of uh, the limitations of, of, uh, of technology forcing uh, uh, an interesting game design, and there is a bastard I want to kill. And I'm skiing at it very fast and I might just smash right into it. 
Did I get it? Did I get him? Still hear him, so probably not. Where are you? Oh, he's on the left. There he is. Whoa. It's so choppy. It's kind of difficult. Did I get him? That is the question. No. Either I didn't get him, or there's another one. And each of those grenades on the right and left indicates five grenades, apparently. So I've got quite a few. But, let's just try skiing away. Because... I need to get to that vehicle so I can really do some damage. They're still behind me. Should I turn and fight? I'm in a man on, on skis versus guys in a snow buggy with missiles. <laughs> I guess the apocalypse makes people toughen up a bit. Come on. Slow down there. 14 miles an hour. Apparently there's a lot of like techniques you can use to increase your speed by like finding the right places to move in and stuff. To get the right to get the slopes, get the speed up and stuff. But Obviously, I'm not very experienced. Can get over this ridge, or maybe it's downhill. There you go, speed increasing. Just keep going north. Yeah! 60 miles an hour! Sweet. So yeah, I do kind of, oh, area change. I do quite like this game. Um, the s slow frame rate is an issue, um, which is unfortunate, but, you know, I would have taken a, I mean, they couldn't have really done much to reduce the graphical quality um, to increase the speed. It's just about playable. I mean, it's playable pretty well in just the exploration aspect, but in terms of trying to aim and fire at a, um, a fast-moving plane, relatively fast-moving, it is really quite tricky. Now, as you can see, my muscle power is uh, reduced to about half. So, I hope I get there soon. I hope this is the right place. <laughs> that dot on the mini-map to the top, top right where I'm trying to get to. And I don't think it's far, just over this ridge perhaps. Come on. There we go. Is that a church? Good for sniping from. That's what churches have been reduced to in this in this uh, future. Oh, apparently they raise morale as well. Although maybe that more has more to do with the fact that you can snipe from them, I don't know. Okay, so it looks like I hope we're close enough to the settlement to stop. Okay, and let's check out these buildings. A garage, church, let's snipe from the church. Yeah, take out some of these vehicles from a good vantage point. No, that's my garage. It's mine now, anyway. There he is. I'll kill you as soon as I can shoot you. Yes, got you. Now, was that the last one? Is that all there is? I think so. Sweet. Now, by the look of my muscle power thing, I clearly need a rest. So, let's go to the house, which is the ideal place to eat. Oh, no more time. Okay. <laughs> Let's go here and synchronize watches with nobody. Enemy vehicle 6 destroyed. Sweet. So, let's check the map and see if I really did eliminate all the enemies.